Listen here, Kobe Chaos Covington. You are in no position to tell me what I should be doing in life. You'll do as you're told. And still! And still! And still! You gave me three stipulations, all of which had nothing to do about fighting, but we're all talking about my wife. Layla, 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 get on your hands and knees and beg. I don't know how you were raised, but women aren't property and my wife definitely ain't no trophy. You should be focusing on me. I'm the one who's in that octagon with you. I'm the one who's gonna punch a hole in your head. So stop swerving me and keep Layla's name out your mouth. How many of you guys have fucked Ian Gary's wife? You're not America's favorite fighter. What you are is a peak underperformer. You're the only person in UFC history to lose three world title fights and you haven't got a single win against anybody in the top 15 right now. So Kobe, why should I fight you? I can think of one reason. I challenge you to an I quit match where one of us has to say, I quit. Oh, ah, 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 I quit, I quit, I quit. And whoever says the words I quit has to retire. Gloves off, sent through the octagon, sayonara, my friend. I'm gonna be the final chapter in your legacy of failure. I am going to rid the UFC of Kobe Covington for good. And I'm gonna make MMA great again. Greetings, nerds and virgins. It's America's champ, the people's champ, Donald Trump's favorite fighter. We're in beautiful, sunny South Florida. Most people, they work 60 years just to get a taste of the good life. This is what I live every day. We just shot 18 holes at Trump International, West Palm Beach. Now we're out here selling on seven figures and salty nerd tears. Usually when you're out here, it's all about fishing. Everybody knows when you go going fishing, it's important to have the right bait. So let me teach you all a lesson about how you bait someone. Ian Gary, you translucent cut. You wanted my attention, now you got it. Everybody knows why you want to fight me, Ian. I'm the biggest star in the division. It's big city, bright lights, and the most attention and eyes you're ever gonna have on you when it fight. But everybody knows, Ian, you missed your chance. You had your chance in December to step on the same stage as me and have a microphone and say whatever you want to say to me. But you were scared. You were scared of what I was gonna say to you, and you got the sniffles, and you cried your way out. That was just a taste of what I could do to you, Ian. All I did was ask the 5,000 people in attendance how many people banged your wife. It's not my fault every single one of them rose their hand. If you were scared of that, Ian, if you're scared of words, what do you think it's gonna be like when you step in a steel cage with chaos? You just went life and death with a guy that does this part-time and is a busboy outback. Dude serves blooming onions for a living. And you went to a split decision with that guy? Now you want Donald Trump's favorite fighter? That's a big step up in competition, Junior. You're biting off more than when you can chew. You know what? I'm a giving man. I'm a kind man. I like to give everyone a chance. So everybody knows, Ian, what's in it for you. But what's in it for me? Tell me, why do I gotta go down in the rankings to fight some Casper the Ghost looking Irish kid who has a gold digging wife? Let me teach you the art of the deal, Ian. Let's come to a compromise. If you can meet these three stipulations, we gotta fight. Stipulation number one, you and that gold digging whore gotta turn your Instagram comments back on. And if you turn them off before the fight, you forfeit the fight. If you turn them off during fight week or after I beat your ass, you forfeit your purse. Stipulation number two, Ian, we've heard you cry and beg on your knees, but we all know that you're not the boss and you don't wear the pants in the relationship. Layla, you got 60 seconds to convince me and the people why this fight needs to happen. So put your husband in the corner, get on your hands and knees, and beg. Now for stipulation number three, my personal favorite. As you all might have noticed, something's been missing from my MyBookie promos lately. That's because I've been saving that spot for a special someone. Layla, you wanna be a star? You want the spotlight? I got it for you, sweetie. You want your 15 seconds of fame, Layla? I'll give you your 15 seconds of fame right here for America's Pick of the Week. After I beat your husband, because that's a foregone conclusion, I will beat him. He's going to sit in the corner just like he does with all that cuck stuff you guys do, and he's going to watch while you get your 15 seconds of fame. Ball's in your court now, cuck boy. I'll have my lawyers draft up the papers. you got 24 hours to respond. We'll see if you're about that life.